We are in the garden with Nick Fedoroff talking about natural gopher control. We correct? are. Absolutely. I've seen these hills before. You have, you haven't you? <laughs> yeah, isn't this something? This is kind of pretty typical in our Southern California yard and garden. And you know it's a gopher because of the way the hill is actually designed here. Because you'll see holes in the yard and garden, but you don't necessarily right. know what they are. So a gopher is going to build it up on one side and it's going to be lower on the other. Okay. So what's also pretty fascinating is the network that these guys do under the ground. We have, for instance, an example here of what a gopher run might be. This run will be anywhere between six uh, inches down to 15 inches down to the ground, and then they'll pop up like this, do this kind of damage okay. through, through the deal. And then what they'll also do is that they'll create a little home or a den for them to leave, live. And over here, this red one, pretty, pretty amazing. They create their own septic tank. They'll go bathroom in just that one little, uh, that one little hole of theirs, and then they'll create another. They don't want to sit in their own right. stuff. Right, of course, <laughs> that makes sense. So, so what's really fascinating is also is, is that old school technology on warding these things off. You know, everybody wants to catch them, catch them, catch them, right. and that's kind of, it can, can kind of gruesome. Yeah. But uh, old school is that we would take things like this poultry wire and we would line stuff, our plants and everything. But the problem is this rots out. And if you're digging through your soil with your hands, you got to make sure you have a tetanus shot going on. Right. So we don't want to do that. So instead what we do is that we find out that there is this fantastic, amazing fabric and this Ooh. is made out of stainless steel. Oh, wow. And look how soft it is. It is. It is really soft. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, it's kind of on a suit of armor. There That's you what go. I want to yeah, there you here. go. I love it. And what's really neat about it is that here's a pair of scissors here. You can here. cut it? Yeah, watch. Well, go ahead and cut this. Watch this. Okay. This is pretty cool. So you can. Oh, wow. You can cut that. I was pulling that. So if we didn't yeah. pull it, it'd be that much more. Yeah. So you can put this and you could put it down in your planter beds, okay. or you could take it if you're gonna be planting a lawn, you put it down, you prepare your lawn, put this down, and then plant your lawn right on top of it. Perfect. The gopher is not gonna sure. pop out. Yes. Okay, or are either are his, uh, or, uh, the siblings. Gophers are pretty much critters that are all by themselves. They like living by themselves. But they will get together to mate, and they'll have anywhere between uh, three to six babies, but only two to three of them actually live. Mm. And then, if you're living in an urban environment like our lawns where we're watering them, they'll mate and they'll have babies three times a oh, year. Oh, okay. But if it's a dry situation, it's only once a year. Okay, so that being said, one of the things that they really love are plants and the roots of plants. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to protect them. And one of the great things that we can do is that all of our plants can be put in a fancy little schmancy bag. And this from Gonzo is really cool because it's made out of that same material that we just cut. Right. But then look at this, they're like little tiny bags. Right. That's really cool. That's perfect. So well, I think what we ought to do here is that uh, we should get the one quart one. And why don't we say we We'll take and we'll plant this. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to do is to pull them out. It has a whole bunch of them in here, too. And uh, hopefully that's going to be the right side. So that's going to fit in there. Okay. okay good. Wow, that it fits perfectly. Perfect. So right, let's pull that out because that's not how we're going to plant it. So pull this out. And okay. I don't know if you want to put gloves on or not. Oh, sure. So just put some gloves on because you never know somebody prior to this actually did this. Right. And what we want to do is just to kind of create create a hole. So let's go ahead and dig okay. out a, a hole right here. As you're digging a little bit deeper, a little bit deeper. Okay. Nice. Is that a good one? Ah, pretty good. Okay. Pretty good. Just a little bit more little there. A little bit more. <laughs> and then I'll take the plant okay. here and I'll put it out like this. And oh, look at those roots on there. It's just beautiful. Nice. Yeah. Look at the roots on this. Oh, this is exciting. It. So now we're going to protect it by putting it there in. There we go. And we're going to stick it up just a little bit above. Okay. Now put that in the ground okay. there. And, and then, then we're going to plant it out. So whether you have a raised planter bed or in the ground, what we've done over here is that we have gopherized this. Gopherized. <laughs> I like that word. Yeah. And, and we're not going to have any problems with the gophers getting in. So if anybody wants more, any, more information, you can go to gogetgonzo.com or come to my website, thingsgreen.com.
We're not done planting. We have more to go. More to go. <laughs> Let's go. I'm ready. You can find all of.